In this instructional video, you will learn how to operate all the audio, video, and ambient control functions associated with your Zen boardroom. In doing so, we will be covering the following questions. To see the individual how-to videos, click the link below. If the home screen is currently not displayed, you can activate this by pressing the power icon located in the center of the iPad. With the home screen displayed, we are now able to select your sources. To use the Mac Mini function, simply press the icon labeled Mac Mini. Your display will now show the Mac Mini desktop. You can use the wireless keyboard and mouse provided to operate the Mac Mini and all of its functions, just as you would a regular computer. To use Barco ClickShare, simply select the Barco icon on the home screen and your Barco will instantly be displayed on your display. Connect a ClickShare dongle into your USB port of your computer. It will appear on your desktop or prompt you in the same manner as using a thumb drive would do. Open it and double click the ClickShare icon. The dongle will now connect to the Barco, prompting you when it is done so. Once it's connected, simply press the button on the dongle. The dongle will light up red when you are connected and in control, and white when your device is not being displayed. Your Barco ClickShare system will allow you the ability to mirror any image, video, or audio from your desktop computer or laptop to your display. If you wish to view your SHA TV, then select the SHA icon on the home page of the iPad. Your display will now change to SHA TV and your iPad will also display a control screen allowing you full control of your SHA cable box. To return to the home screen, just press the X in the top right hand corner and your control will disappear and return you to the home screen. To use the Apple TV, select the Apple TV icon. Your iPad will also show a control interface allowing you to control your Apple TV like you would with using the normal remote control. To use your FaceTime, Skype, and phone calling functions, simply select the address book. When selecting the phone icon, a keypad will appear. When selecting the FaceTime or Skype icon, your iPad will display a control interface and your system will transfer you over to the Mac Mini. When using either of these functions, you are granted the ability to full screen the user you are talking to as well as use picture-in-picture -picture function, allowing you to view the user while still seeing your content. You are also able to show your on-screen content to the end user you are communicating with. To do so, simply select one of the icons from the list provided on the control interface. All the same functions can be found within the quick dial section of the home page. To add a contact, go into your phone book, then select Add a new contact. Your iPad will now switch to your Safari browser and display Zen Boardroom's webpage. Here, select Add Entry and input all the necessary information. When you are done, click Save. When you're back on the Zen Boardroom's webpage, check the Favorites box if you wish for this contact to appear in the Favorites or leave it unchecked if you wish it to appear alphabetically. You may now close the window and select the home button on the iPad. Now reopen your AMX TP control app. It will take only a moment and then your new contact will appear. To make a conference call, simply select the conference call icon on the home page. Your iPad will now display an option to dial for the conference and display all the information required. To end your conference call, select the hang up button. To utilize the in-call app control, select the in-call app control icon. Your iPad will now display an in-call app controller. When making a phone call within this app, you are still able to utilize 
your Barco ClickShare, Apple TV, full screen, and picture-in-picture -picture functions. Your volume controls are conveniently located in the upper right corner of the home page, allowing you to raise your volume level up or down or even mute it. You can also toggle your microphones on and off using the microphone icon. The in session icon is a notification element that tells you that the boardroom is in use. When the in session is lit up red, the boardroom is being used. When it is white, the boardroom is not being used. To control your lighting and shades, simply press the lighting and shade icon. Pressing the up or down arrow in the corresponding lighting zone will dim your lights up and down. Your shade controls are also located on this page. Alternatively, pressing all lights on or all lights off will turn your lights directly on or off. If you're experiencing any issues within the system, you have the ability to contact us directly from the home screen of the iPad using the Kruger Help icon. This will allow you to send an email directly to us where a professional automated environments technician will receive your email and contact you to assess the issue. When you are finished using your boardroom, we recommend that you turn the equipment off. To do so, press the power icon in the lower left hand corner of the home screen. Your iPad will now display the options to shut down AV only or perform a room shutdown. The AV only selection will just turn off your AV components. A room shutdown will turn off your AV components as well as your lights. We hope you enjoy your new Zen boardroom supplied by Kruger Electric, where we strive to simplify your life.